four. Does that look sexy? Do you look sexy when you wiggle like that? Are you carrying five pounds of extra fat? Get off your ass and do something about it. Quit making excuses. Quit lying to yourself. Take a path, pick a course. We're gonna show you how. Our whole practice is based on getting you to be the best version of yourself. Remove the crappy Everything foods. we do is based in the medical literature. We're gonna look at how to get you healthy, not how to get you on medicines, how to get you off medicines. Well, hello. Hello. It's Wednesday at three. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna be polite from this point <laughs> from this point forward. I wasn't too polite a few seconds ago. Look, this is a get in your face time of year. Mm -hmm. It's October and uh, trick or treat's coming, and there's going to be big bowls of candy, and yep. that's going to be followed by Thanksgiving, followed by Christmas, followed by, followed by 10 pounds of weight gain, right? Mm -hmm. you got to decide right now, is that good enough for me? Is that what I want? I, look, I can show you how to eat cookies throughout the holidays mm -hmm. and still lose weight, all right? There's a way to do that. But there has to be other pieces in your life, and you have to look at your life and say, okay, what am I doing in my life total? Everything. How many times have somebody walked up to you and I and said, well, what do you eat and how do you work out and what do you drink and... Oh my and gosh, every day. Every day. Yeah. And so look, if you've had success, as we have had some success in managing our weight and managing our lifestyle and managing our sleep mm -hmm. and managing just to be healthy, we've had success there. Let us share that with you. So years ago, Chelsea and I mm -hmm. uh, took our collective experiences, and we're going to detail for you that a little bit. Um, and put it together and said, look, we're going to put together everything that we do on a daily basis that keeps us healthy. And it's not that complicated. No. It's pretty actually simple. And like anything in life, mm -hmm. if you get used to doing it, it's just your routine. Mm -hmm. If I don't eat wheat, I don't eat wheat every day. It doesn't feel odd. It doesn't feel hard. Or deprivation. Or deprivation. <laughs> yeah. What do you do every day that to you just feels like falling off a log? Eating six or seven servings of vegetable. Piece of cake. Piece right? of cake. No cake. <laughs> so we want to share that with you. We have a program that we built called our Virtuoso Wellness Program. Virtuoso because we want to make you a virtuoso, an expert on how your body works. Or a master, right? A, a master. master of your body. Because most people don't get up in, in, in the morning and say, oh, gosh, I feel like gaining two pounds today. Or, gee, I'd right. like to get diabetes this year. That isn't what we do. But what we don't do is we don't make a plan. Mm -hmm. We have no plan. Your, your health class in fifth grade did not prepare you for life. You don't know how to sleep properly. You don't know how to eat properly. You may not even know how to exercise properly. And yet most people go through life being told by their doctors, eat less and exercise more and everything Lose will be fine. Weight. Baloney. There's more right. to it than that. Right. So, we, what we did is put together in our Virtuoso Wellness Program everything that we think is significant from detoxifying your kitchen, which we've talked about, to how you sleep and how you eat, all in one curriculum. That's a six-month curriculum, right? Because that's what mm -hmm. it takes. You're not going to lose weight. Sorry to tell you that, but you're not going to lose weight if you're not sleeping properly. Uh, you can eat the best diet in the world, you can go to the gym two hours a day, but if you're stressed, if your thyroid's abnormal, if you're not sleeping, if you're putting plastics in your body, these are the little things mm -hmm. that trip people up. And then they don't get where they want to be. So many people, they'll try to lose weight and then they won't lose weight and they'll be eating a good diet, but yeah. something's off. Like you said, their hormones, their thyroid, their stress, and they say, oh, screw it. And, and I get it. I mean, I would, you, would get, oh, I you know, they say, well, I might as well be eating what I want if I'm not going to lose weight. And we I'm would just say, born to be this way. Right. Everybody in my family is big boned. Everybody, look, mm -hmm. it's not that. And I get it. it. It takes some understanding about how your body works. And that's what this is about. If you don't want to lose weight, let's, we've had people go through our virtuoso program. Mm -hmm. Dr. Dean, yeah. right? Yeah. Perfectly lean guy, but he wasn't as healthy as he wanted to be. He wanted mm -hmm. better brain cognition, he wanted better vitality. Yeah. And so this is all about your wellness. Um, what doesn't work is calorie restriction. Long term, right? Doesn't work. And it might work for a month or two. You'll lose, you know, you'll lose weight. You'll lose weight. And you'll gain it right back. Because you're hungry. <laughs> you're hungry. How many times you've heard a, Chelsea and I say this? It's up here. Mm -hmm. It's what you think and it's what you believe. And mm -hmm. so that's what this program addresses is we're going to give you better thoughts and we're going to work on your belief system. So you were mentioning collectively together. We took uh -huh. our experiences and kind of smushed them into a program. Yep. And previous to working with you, I worked at a company. And, and same kind of thing. I, I helped patients lose weight and coach them. And I had success, but I was never given the tools or, or I couldn't give the tools to the patients on how to address this. And it was a gym. It, yes. Yep. And, it, and like I said, great, great facility. I had success, but yeah. I was missing the, the, the in-between-the-ears aspect on top of the medical aspect. 
effect, which is huge. It's huge. And so now coming here, I thought we need a program. Mm -hmm. And you thought we need a program that's medically based, science, scientifically backed. Right. Um, and it addresses what's in between the ears, not just here's your meal plan. Right. Because if I give you a meal plan, what's eh. the, yeah, yeah. Eh. Okay. A cookie cutter meal plan for I'll, everybody. I'll eat this. Um, and, and because I have willpower today, I'll eat this. Right. But willpower will always fail. And if you haven't changed your belief system. So share a little bit because you had experience. People would join a gym in general, mm -hmm. just join a gym. Yeah. Because if I go to the gym and work out, I will lose weight. And how many times oh did you gosh. see the disappointment of somebody that says, I'm in here two hours a day every day and I'm not losing right. weight. Right. And the answer is not, well, you need to work out harder <laughs> and eat less. And that's what we're told. Or, you right. know, that's what we think. Oh, I just got to eat less and work out harder. It, it couldn't be further from the truth. There is always, always, it goes so far beyond that. So yeah, absolutely. Coming into this virtuoso program, mm -hmm. I brought something different to the table that I said, I want to teach teach people about their body and learn how to listen to it, mm -hmm. learn how to appreciate it and, and have love for it, but then also learn how do I navigate this in a real life situation? How do you have three kids and, and be the busy mom and still well, eat healthy? How do you do that? That day, I think is what sets you apart. And we talked about this. Mm -hmm. uh, Chelsea is a really unique animal in many, many ways. Mm -hmm. um, you are one of the best people I've ever met that just mm -hmm. simply meets people where they're at and says, it's okay. Thank Wherever you. you are, we're gonna take one step and then mm -hmm. another and then another. You've never, I've never seen you take somebody and say, okay, you gotta throw everything in your no. kitchen out and you gotta do all this and you have to do this and this and this. Mm -hmm. And you know, <laughs> nobody needs this, right. right? Most people that aren't feeling good, and remember this is more than just weight loss. If you don't feel good, your cognition's not good or your weight's not where it is, you're diabetic. Mm -hmm. You don't need this. Most people have already beat the hell out of themselves oh my gosh. Yeah. with negative internal dialogue. Mm -hmm. And so what I love about the way that you handle every patient you meet is it's okay. Mm -hmm. You are where you are now, and we're just going to move forward a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. Absolutely. Non-judgmental. You mm -hmm. don't need judgment. When I meet somebody that comes into my office and they go, well, I'm a smoker, I don't go, you got to stop smoking. <laughs> You know you got to quit yeah, smoking. Yeah. Me saying it doesn't help. Right. When you're ready, you'll stop. And I've seen you do that beautifully with people Thank coaching you. them. Literally, because you, you coax them to the next step and the next step mm -hmm. in steps that they can manage. Some people want to take four giant leaps, and you're able to do that. Yeah. Other people, oh, my gosh, it's little tiny baby steps. So you have a wonderful ability Thank to do you. that. Thank so, you. So you and I meet. I come to the table. Mm -hmm. I have had a lifelong since I was, when I was in high school, I wasn't the biggest or the fastest or the strongest, but I loved athletics. So how do I compete if I'm, at that time, smaller sized, uh, kind of fast, but I didn't have a lot of, mm -hmm. so I always thought nutrition was better because in the fourth quarter, I'm gonna still have gas when they're running out. So even in high school and into college, I always thought nutrition was a very edge. interesting edge mm -hmm. to have on the sports field. And that carried throughout life because then I got a little bit older and I see people with diabetes and hypertension and I'm in medicine. I'm thinking there's gotta be a way to help this. So throughout my life, I've read things like sugar busters and the paleo diet and uh, I, I mean, weren't I you read, vegan for a little bit? I, You've I, tried it all. I've been a vegan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I wrote what I thought was one of my best pieces of work uh, about being a carnivore because I didn't find that the vegan lifestyle really suited me. It didn't make me healthier and the literature really doesn't support that it's better or best for being healthy. Mm -hmm. But I've tried it all. If there's a diet on the planet, I've eaten it because I want to understand it. I want to understand mm -hmm. the impact on the body. So we take all of that to the table. What's interesting to me is people will come in and God bless you for trying. Keep trying. Mm -hmm. But I see people, they'll say, well, I read an article on the internet and it said this. And I'm like, that's awesome. Yes. But that's one article. Now read a hundred more and assimilate all that together and now back that up with years of experience and now you have a piece of what Chelsea and I have to offer, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. So it's not being disrespectful to one article you may have read, but I'm telling you the picture is ginormous and yeah. we have simplified or boiled it down into things that we think are the most piercing, consistently uh, fruitful mm -hmm. ideas and thoughts that make people's physiology move. Absolutely. Right? Yep. By the way, I can't believe we've sat here for five minutes now and haven't talked about Bob. Bob the Blob. <laughs> <laughs> and this is five pounds. Every single person goes, that's not five pounds. Yes, it is. I actually weighed it. It has five, it is five pounds. Um, now, it's incredible. Real fat, right? <laughs> Someone did think People that was real. <laughs> it's 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 rubber. It's fake. But it's it's 
it's uh, anatomically correct to represent mm -hmm. five pounds of fat. Imagine if you're 20 pounds overweight and you got four of these. Okay, one mm -hmm. on each hip and a couple on your backside. Yeah. So this is important because one of the things we want to share, and, and maybe you're not looking to lose weight, but most people want to lose a few pounds. This is not inactive tissue. This fat, Bob the Blob, is active tissue in your body. It produces cytokines. It's making chemicals that damage your blood vessels. So it's not a matter of, I want you to be a bikini model. It's not a matter of, I want mm -hmm. you to be a skinny mini. But I know that if you're carrying five pounds of this around, this is damaging your heart. This is making your brain more likely to become an Alzheimer's or a stroke patient down the road. So getting rid of mm -hmm. this gets rid of nasty chemicals. By the way, people that carry more <clears throat> of Bob around, more of Bob the Blob, if you have more fat, you have more places to store toxins. Yes, you do. They love to sit in toxins, don't they? So plastics and pesticides and herbicides, studies have shown people that carry more fat carry more toxin because they have more places to store it. Mm -hmm. When we get rid of these storage sites, we're less toxic. I had a patient so. just this morning. She was so disappointed that she had only lost two pounds. And then I got Bob out and I said, <laughs> look at this is five. You've lost two. And then when she looked at it like, gosh, I've lost two. You know, that's almost here. And I said, yes, <clears> you, you think of it like that. I mean, any amount lost on the scales of victory. Yep. Not that it's only about the scale. I mean, it's yep. much. It's so much more than the much scale. Much more than that. And let's talk about that because one of the things we're very proud of is we don't fail. People lose mm -hmm. weight. And why is that? Talk a little bit about Shelly. And Shelly came in and she wanted to yeah. lose weight. So she was kind of shopping around for weight loss programs. And she said, do you know why I picked you? And I said, yeah, I'd love to know. And she said, because you guys have a medically backed practice. She said, you guys have a medically backed weight loss practice. Mm -hmm. And I said, tell me more about that. And she said, well, I feel like if something, if I can't lose weight, you've got Dr. Huber right next door. And I said, you are absolutely right. Mm -hmm. So fast forward four weeks into her program, she couldn't lose weight. You can't make this up. She couldn't lose weight, didn't lose a pound, and she was eating phenomenally perfect. Yeah. Um, so I said, well, I, I think there's something going on with your thyroid. Sure enough, we and did And you it. changed more than just diet. Oh right? my gosh, yes, of course. So a lot of different things. But yes. hey, if the if the uh, if this change in the scale isn't there, then we got to yes, broaden we, our scope. Absolutely, she got rid of diet coke. I mean, so so many yeah. other things. Um, so we tested her thyroid, which we have a lab in here. Yep. Tested her thyroid, and I'm looking at it. I was like, oh, we we got some you know imbalances. So she saw Dr. Huber. No joke, you had happened to put her on some thyroid medication. Week one of thyroid medication, she lost six pounds. Wow. And I'm not saying wow. that's average or typical, but she lost six pounds. Yeah. And she said, I can think straight. She actually couldn't work um, because she couldn't she couldn't think clearly. It's foggy. And yes, and now she's putting her resume together. So the point is, we give people the big G, the guarantee. Yeah. We we I will I tell people yes your body wants to lose the weight yeah. and if not we are going to find out why and there I have you right next door always a reason oh a hundred percent so some of the things share with me and, and with these folks what are some of the reasons that when people come in and they're eating right and they're going to the to the gym mm -hmm. that they don't lose weight in your mind what are the top two or three things that they haven't thought about haven't looked at or haven't addressed I would say sleep. Is, mm -hmm. is top top number one. Yeah. Um, gut health, which we have a whole video on gut health. If, if you're eating something that you're allergic to or sensitive to, mm -hmm. we've got to uncover that. Um, hormone imbalances, mm -hmm. that's another one that we can kind of kind of watch out for. Um, what else are you thinking? I think those, those are the those big are ones. Those are the big ones. We're, we look at the five energy systems, um, and Chris is going to throw up a graphic here, slide number two, Chris, when we talk about the, the narrow spectrum of medicine. Because this is what happens for a lot of folks you're not losing weight, you go to your doctor and they say, eat less, exercise more. Mm -hmm. um, but we really don't examine thyroid, we don't examine mm -hmm. cortisol, we don't talk about sleep. So we don't look at physiology. You, you have five energy systems in your body that all have to be working well for your body to be able to metabolize fat and burn it. And if you're stressed, that's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So, got a picture up here of disease. This is how medicine looks at disease. Disease causes symptoms and we're gonna use drugs to reduce symptoms. That's it. We don't go after the cause. Mm -hmm. Chris, if you throw up the next one, the, the pursuit of health, slide number three. This is how we see a disease. And not everybody listening to this that wants to lose weight has a disease, but oftentimes you do. You have diabetes, or you have insulin resistance, your blood pressure is creeping up, and maybe it's not a full-blown diagnosis. But we don't, in medicine, look at this full spectrum. We don't address stress. We don't look at toxic load in people mm -hmm. or BPA exposure. We don't really measure or address or balance hormones. We don't do a good job of identifying gut 
intolerances or mm -hmm. disturbances, and this is your immune system, which affects your brain, which affects your sleep. Uh, we don't look at sleep and exercise mm -hmm. in medicine, and we don't look at nutrient uh, deficiencies. So if I put somebody on Nexium or Dexalent or PPI or some of those medicines, I just committed a, a, a <laughs> submitted you to a problem in that you're not going to break your foods down. You can't. You don't have digestive enzymes. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes in medicine, in an attempt to treat people's symptoms, we actually make it harder for them to get better. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we see somebody like Shelly who's not moving forward, Chelsea's been around me now for about six years. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's been in my head a lot and I got footprints. Um, <laughs> And so she understands how we think and how we look at physiology, and she's very astute at picking up cortisol issues, thyroid issues, hormone issues, sleep mm -hmm. issues, and has solutions for mm -hmm. that. So a lot of this virtuoso program, Chelsea is your tour guide. She's going to walk you through this process. We're going to talk a little bit more about what's involved in this process. Mm -hmm. But she has the ability to pull me in at any time mm -hmm. if she thinks that there's something that's not progressing. And with this, you know, a patient would come in, and we're going over nutrition and lifestyle, but all of these are kind of in my, in the back of my head. You know, it's, it's like not, a checklist. It, exactly. I'm I'm thinking, okay, how's their cortisol? How's their sleep? How's their gut? Um, mm -hmm. And meanwhile, you know, we're talking about nutrition. So it's always in the back of my mind mm -hmm. as, you know, what could be other issues going on? So we're always trying to optimize energy systems and we always look at weight gain. Weight gain is not something your body wants to do. Mm -hmm. You have to push or force your body to, to keep on weight. And we force our bodies by stressing, not sleeping, and eating too many carbs. Okay. Um, I want to talk a little bit. I want to throw up, you want to throw up uh, Bill's case as mm -hmm. an example? All right. So I'm going to throw up a dear friend of ours that was in the program, uh, Bill. That's uh, next slide, Chris. And I want to share with you, because this was just a wonderful before and after. He's smiling because I, I gave him some numbers, <laughs> and I can't even remember what my numbers are. <laughs> Anyhow, if you're looking at Bill's slide, this is really cool. So Bill came in. Um, Bill's a fireman, great guy, salt of the earth, and he's 224 pounds. And this was his history. He wasn't exercising. His blood pressure was elevated. That was his blood pressure, 160 over 110 on medication. That was on medication. His cholesterol was 277 on a statin, and his fasting blood sugar was 106. He was borderline diabetic, and nobody had done anything to address that because you're not diabetic yet. We're just mm -hmm. going to sit on it. Bill told me, uh, I think he was 58 when he came in. He goes, I don't think I'm going to live two more years. I said, Bill, you're only 58. He goes, I don't think mm -hmm. I'm going to live past 60. He felt that bad wow. and was struggling to do his job as a fireman because his energy just – he just didn't have what it took to mm -hmm. meet the demands of his job. Fireman's a tough job, man. Mm -hmm. And he's been exposed to a lot of toxins as a fireman because uh, you breathe in a lot of stuff. Um, Bill is a standout because Bill's one of those guys, first of all, you know, he's the kind of patient I love. If I say, you ready to do it? I'm ready to do it. Mm -hmm. If we say go, he just goes, right? Yep. Give him a, give him a plan. Got Done. it. Done. Nailed it. Yep. And look, this is really what we want to encourage. Chelsea's going to be gentler on you than I ever will be. <laughs> I'm going to say, sure, get off the pot. Do something. Make a decision. Take some action. Stop making excuses. Mm -hmm. It's your life you're wasting, not mine. But I'm here to motivate you. I'm going to get yeah. out my stick, and I'm going to give you a prod from time to time if you need that. Right? <laughs> I think Bill, Bill didn't need that. Right. You gave him a plan, and he took to it. He lost 49 pounds in 10 weeks. That's amazing. 49 pounds in 10 weeks. He couldn't run, couldn't go to the gym. You know what he did? He walked. He walked. But the first time he walked, I think it took him to, like, 10 or 12 minutes to cover one mile. Yeah. All right. But very, very quickly, he started getting better. Within 10 weeks, after losing 49 pounds, look at that. His blood pressure was down to 110 over 70, and that was off medication. He's saving money because he's not taking his medication anymore. Then his cholesterol was 155 off medication because he lost the weight. Mm -hmm. He got rid of the inflammatory carbs. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and his fasting blood sugar came down to 80. In 10 weeks. Imagine fast forward your life in 10 weeks. Go to I the mean, next slide there, Chris. How, how fast can your life change in 10 weeks? That's not not everybody long. loses 49 pounds no. in 10 weeks. No. But it is very possible yes. with consistent effort in all these directions. Mm -hmm. Look at that face. Look at that face. You just want to kiss him. Mm -hmm. um, so in 10 weeks, that's a big difference. And by the way, he lost weight even beyond this. He got leaner even further on. If we go to one more slide. Um, Bill is a sweetheart of a guy. He comes to me and goes, Doc, mm -hmm. I know you do a lot of speaking and lecturing, so I made you this slide. I love that. Who the <laughs> hell makes PowerPoint slides for the their slide. doctor? <laughs> I didn't write this. Bill wrote this, right? Isn't this cool? So he goes, I noticed after I started looking at everything that I've been exposed to, how much money I was saving by getting healthier. Um, $60 a month he's saving because he's not spending it on medication. That's 720 bucks a year. 
He got a $500 rebate off his health insurance because he now met their healthy criteria because his blood pressure was under control and so his premiums went down in the health insurance. Um, he estimates approximately $1,000 a year savings because his back didn't hurt. I didn't treat his back. I treated his health, I treated his weight, and his back pain just went away. Mm -hmm. So I had to apologize to his chiropractor because <laughs> he doesn't need chiropractic. Lost a customer. <laughs> doesn't need chiropractic adjustments for his back pain anymore. We don't know what his life insurance premiums are going to do. We expect they'll go down. Um, he had spent about ten thousand dollars, he estimates, on kidney stones because wow. he would have kidney stones on a yearly basis and end up in the ER. I don't think he'll ever have a kidney stone again. We fixed that problem. So we don't know how much money he's going to save there. So it's a question mark. And he should have fewer illnesses, so fewer expenses, fewer visits to the doctor. And this is the one I love the most. Mm -hmm. $2.50 per day, because he used to drink about five to six cans of Coca-Cola wow. a day. Now he drinks zero. That's two hundred and or two fifty a day, nine hundred and twelve dollars a year just by not thousand dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. Add that up. So much. If you add it up, it's three thousand one hundred and thirty-two dollars a year, and that's without knowing how much he'll save right. on those other elements. Known cost could be four, could be five thousand dollars a year. And then quality of life. Oh my God, you can think, you can sleep. I mean, it's just feeling better to me is, why, is priceless. Why wouldn't you? So yeah. this is this is the problem though. Well, and that worked for Bill, but I know it won't work for me. Mm -hmm. Or I've tried diets and it didn't work. Talk a little bit about everybody has tried a diet and failed, but almost always it's calorie restriction. If I oh go to Weight gosh, Watchers yeah. or Jenny Craig or any of these, it's about restricting my calories and it's not teaching me how to eat healthy foods, right? And it's not changing the way I think, right? Or key, exactly, not changing the way you think is just absolutely key. I mean, we look at. Our patients, are their paradigms and their negative thinking that is preventing them from doing a, a healthy lifestyle long term. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we do vision statement seminars and, and grocery store tours. And it is truly not just here, eat this and, and yeah. see you later. I mean, I would say half of this program is, is addressing what's up in here. I would too. And, and each patient comes, they meet with me every single week for the first three months and then every other week, the last three months of the program. And we are together for a half hour every week talking. And it's sometimes, of course, about nutrition, but it's, it's what's in here. It, well, you have a chance to see where they're getting off track. Yeah. Not just in what the food choices, mm -hmm. but they're thinking in food choices. Exactly. Oh, I have to eat uh, dairy because I need it for my bones or I need my grains. Or, and mm -hmm. so we correct dietary myths, but more importantly, we, we go after thought processes that are problematic. And Absolutely. this is interesting too, because this program had at one point been an eight week program and it was a 12 yeah. week program. And we have found, this is a six month program. You know why? It takes that long. It takes mm. that long to consistently change your habits. And you're not with Chelsea so she can point her finger and, and re-remind no. you of the same things. But what's, what's been an amazing to me is people have said, oh, I don't want to come in every week. I don't want to talk to Chelsea every week. And I've told them mm -hmm. accountability. It's everything. Absolutely. And we do more than just, okay, get on the scale. I mean, we do so much more than that. It's a lot of education. It's a lot of education. And they're running into a problem. You know, I can't figure out how to meal plan with my busy family. Okay, well, mm -hmm. let's problem solve this. Mm -hmm. I mean, most of that appointment is problem solving. And how do we make this doable? That's something you do great. You meet patients where they're at. <clears throat> and if they're a traveling businessman or mm -hmm. if they're a housewife or if they have kids in soccer, you help them figure out yes. how are you going to feed those kids by not going through a drive through and how to do things quickly, mm -hmm. right? Everybody exactly. has an hour to prepare for, for dinner, right? Ab absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. And this is, to me, it's not a cookie cutter program because a cookie right. cutter and not to, you know, to bash, you know, Weight Watchers, but that is a, okay, here's a plan for a million people and it's the same, you know, point system. This, you know, we tweak it a little bit for everybody depending on if they travel, um, yeah. it, you know, if they're vegetarian. We meet you where you're at and we'll guarantee you succeed with losing weight and getting your health back. Because we're gonna look at all of your physiology yes. and change that. Yep. All right, enough rambling. Enough I don't know if you wanna go through materials or yeah, talk about I anything just, else. Briefly, so when, when a patient signs up for our Virtuoso program, they kinda of get a little goodie bag, I say. And we've got some tools. You don't get tool, Bob the You don't, no, he stays with me. <laughs> and, uh, you get some tools. Um, and these are just educational materials that Dr. Huber and I have created, um, again, over the last five, 10 years. Um, we have a fancy cookbook that is simple. You always say it's gluten-free, gluten -free, mostly dairy-free, low carb. Low carb, everything in there can be made in less than 20 minutes. Easy. My wife does not enjoy the kitchen. 
So everything in here is Beth approved, meaning mm -hmm. everything in there can be made in 20 minutes or less. Yep. Right? They're very quick. Easy peasy. Um, our journal, for those of you who, like me, still like to write things down and still like to track how you're feeling. And when we created this, I didn't want just a blank sheet. Okay, write how much you ate and, you know, three-fourths right. a cup of this. This is a check mark, a little checklist. How do I feel? I feel great on a scale mm -hmm. of one to ten. How did I sleep? Did I eat no wheat today? I mean, this is more of a checklist, and we can mm -hmm. go back and say, well, how did you do this week? And well, and you get easy. to review that when they come in every week and see what they did. Yep. And mm -hmm. here's what I, this is, this is scientifically speaking, called cognitive behavioral therapy. If you fill out one of these sheets every day, and we've timed it, it takes about a minute mm -hmm. to fill that out once a day. But it's repetition, 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 repetition. Mm -hmm. And if you start seeing a change in how you feel or the scale's going up, your brain is programmed because you've done this every day to start going down the checklist. Oh, well, how many vegetables did I eat? Did I get my water? Did I get my sleep? Did I do my meditation? Did I exercise? Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're literally programming your brain for success by having you go through this again and again and again. And in here also is challenges every week that we yep. want you to do. There's reading assignments. This is your textbook. Yep. It has been digitalized. Yes, you can read it online if you want to go online and read it. Mm -hmm. um, so these materials are, everything here was brought to the table and put into the program because we read across the spectrum of the literature and we know that cognitive behavioral therapy works and we mm -hmm. know that education works and we know that these challenges work. So when you put this all together in one program with a good coach, mm -hmm. boom. And we got a little bit of a, an extra bonus every week, a little B12 <laughs> shot that everybody loves. Woo! It's a good little energy shot and no, it doesn't hurt, but People love these. It really does give you a little bit of boost of energy. There are, so, and there are some lipotropic agents in there that help you burn fat. So yep. it does help stimulate fat burning. It's got some chromium, help mm -hmm. with blood sugar. Um, so that's also included in there. And we do have a little bit of a special going on right now until the uh, end, a special sale, <laughs> until the end of the year. So if you kind of want to tell them a little bit about yeah. that. So a hundred bucks off the program. Look, this is the time of year I challenge you if you're sitting there on Bob the Blob, if you're sitting on five extra pounds, if you just don't feel good, if your energy is not good, if your brain is foggy, if your sleep is messed up, if you're diabetic and you say, man, I've been, I've, I want to change, I want to feel better. Mm -hmm. Now's the time to start. Start it now before Thanksgiving. Lose weight before Thanksgiving. In fact, lose weight throughout the holiday season. And I'll even share with you, Chelsea and I will help you understand how can I cheat Christmas Day, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving Day, uh, how can I have some of my snacks that I really love through the holidays and still lose weight? Okay, you can it's do possible. that. You can do that. It is possible. But start this process. So on January 1st, you're going, man, I feel awesome. And it's a new year. Instead of, oh my God, I'm bloated, bloated. and I gained 10 pounds over the holidays and mm -hmm. I feel like crap. And now I got to abide by this New Year's resolution that you know you're not going to stick to anyway. Yeah. Start now. So we want to encourage people to get ahead of the curve, start this process so that you fly through the holidays feeling great, that your energy is good, your sleep is good. That's why we're taking 100 bucks off the price of the program. Mm -hmm. We're also giving you a $50 credit toward any supplementation that Chelsea recommends for you, whether it's protein powders or vitamins or chromium mm -hmm. or fat burners or carb down to block carb metabolism. Uh, there's lots of different options that lots she can present for you. So. I hope we did a good job yeah. of presenting what this is. This is a whole health wellness program with a, with a heavy slant toward weight loss. But even people that don't need to lose weight would benefit from this. Mm -hmm. I love when couples do this. Yeah. I love when whole families do this, right? And we'll, we'll drop the price for a couple or, or a family if they want to do it as a group. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully we've answered a few questions. Yeah. And hopefully we've stimulated a few questions. What do we got, Chris? So. You've already briefly covered it, but give me just a punchline. How is this program different from like a Weight Watchers or Jenny Craig? Wow, big time different in the sense, most mm -hmm. of those types of programs, for example, um, Jenny Craig, you gotta buy their food, mm -hmm. right? So you're already buying processed food and it's probably coming wrapped in plastic. Not good. <laughs> um, and what they're basically doing, they're, they're having you buy their food because they're just counting calories and they're having you eat a low calorie diet. That's gonna work in the short run. They're not going to train your brain to think differently. They're not going to train you to sleep better. They're not going to identify if you have cortisol or thyroid issues. They're not going to mm -hmm. identify if hormones are a part of your issue. So everybody that does Jenny Craig or Weight Watchers, they always lose that first five or 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. And it comes off and they go, I'm feeling better. All right? But you're not any smarter. And you don't understand your body physiology any better. And you're just, you're counting points or you're eating packaged food. 
And so it's just calorie restriction. It doesn't work. We can go to the medical library right now and look up all the articles on calorie restriction. And the gross summation of all those is going to say the same thing. Calorie restriction doesn't work long term. Mm -hmm. People lose weight and then they gain it back. And every time they do one of those cycles, they alter their cortisol adrenal structure, mm -hmm. which means it can become harder and harder and harder to lose weight in the future because you've altered the way your thyroid performs. All right? So this is not about calorie restriction. In fact, how many calories do you limit them to? As much as they want. <laughs> Truly, Wait I tell minute. them. You tell them they can eat as much as they want. I, you guarantee that they'll lose weight. And you've seen people lose 50 pounds, yeah, even 100 it, pounds it, on this program. It sounds too good to be true. But truly, I do not have anybody count calories. And that, I, when I tell people that, they go, oh, thank God. I mean, it's almost freeing when mm -hmm. I say you don't have to count, weigh, or measure your food if you stick to the whole real food. It's the type of food you're eating and it's your sleep, and it's your thyroid, and it's mm -hmm. your cortisol, and it's all these things. Mm -hmm. So that's the huge difference. Um, God bless Weight Watchers and Jenny Craig and all those other, Metafast and all those programs. They're out there trying to help, but they're they're trying to stop a forest fire with a garden hose. And I'm more interested not only in, yeah, well, having someone lose 20 pounds is great, but keeping it off is Absolutely. gold. That's what I'm most interested. Have to. Keeping it so off for the patient. what we feel is if we change this, if we change the way you think, we know people are going to lose weight and they may gain a few back, okay? Mm -hmm. But doing this program and training your brain to think differently, by the time you've regained five pounds, you're going, uh-oh, something's wrong. Okay, where are my vegetables, my exercise, blah, blah, blah. Exactly. And we've trained your brain to think differently. You're going to get back on the program. You're going to lose again. Mm -hmm. um, it always floors me when somebody says, yeah, I lost 50 pounds, but I gained 30 of it back. 30? It takes a long, yeah. How did you get past the first 10 pounds of weight gain and not yeah. realize there was a problem? Right. So what I love about this is if you understand, if we've changed the way you think, then we've forever altered the paradigm of how you behave. Mm -hmm. and, and Chris asked me earlier, he goes, so this is a six month program. No, it's a six month education. It's a lifelong program. Mm -hmm. You never lose that relationship with Chelsea. She's always there supporting and guiding and educating. Because mm -hmm. things change. Well, yeah. From year to year, we learn new things, mm -hmm. right? So we're always gonna update you. All right. Anything else, Chris? Yes. Uh, pending no diseases, which could be, that risk could be reduced, right? Right. Uh, could I expect to live longer by taking this program? Oh. Only absolutely. <laughs> oh my God, yes. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. We, it's interesting, when you look at disease or when you look at death, and there's different definitions of what causes the body to age. Aging is a loss of mitochondrial function or energy production within the cell. Just a gradual drop. Um, things that promote the loss of mitochondria mm -hmm. and things that promote the aging process, sugar, carbs, fat, mm -hmm. toxins, just basic inflammation. Mm -hmm. This is an anti-inflammatory diet. It lowers C-reactive protein. It reduces the risk of heart attacks. Even if you're perfectly healthy now, eating this way and living this way will reduce your risk of ever getting diabetes or ever having a heart attack ever, mm -hmm. or getting Alzheimer's for that matter. Mm -hmm. So absolutely, when we look at longevity studies and how do people live long and what kind of people live long, that's all in here because we've read yeah. that literature and we understand what foods promote good cellular energy mm -hmm. and reduce CRP inflammation. So it's an so, anti-aging yes. program too. It's an anti-aging <laughs> program. Um, and weight loss. It's amazing how many people are more scared of Alzheimer's than cancer. Yeah. Um, Didn't and it, you say your friend, you kind of took a poll and your friends all said, I, I, I'd rather get the cancer. Well, there was actually a study that came out oh. looking at that. And yeah. people were more afraid of Alzheimer's than cancer because cancer, at least we have some treatment. Yeah. Alzheimer's, there's nothing. And we, we want to know what's the cause of Alzheimer's? Inflammation. Mm -hmm. Broadly, broadly, inflammation. Toxins and plastic and sugars and carbs and stress and lack of sleep. And this program addresses all that. Mm -hmm. it, it educates you in all those areas. Okay. What about fast, speed? What about lunch? I mean, do you guys educate on things we can make quickly? Quick and easy? Oh my gosh. Yep. I, I got to toot my own little horn. I feel like that's my specialty is fast, easy, and healthy meals. And I just was at a grocery store tour this morning and we came up with five meals for her for the week that were incredibly easy. I mean, organic rotisserie chicken, throw in a big bag of, of organic frozen vegetables, chicken stock, and you've got chicken soup. I mean, that is so easy. Mm -hmm. Much better than fast food. And Carol so, in yes. our office is another great. We're going to do one coming up. We've got a video coming up where mm -hmm. Chelsea and Carol and I, and I'm going to sit back and let these girls talk about quick, fast snacks and meals mm -hmm. and, and how to feed it. Because Carol has two boys. Mm -hmm. 
um, and you're newly married. Yeah. Um, but yep. you know, being a single girl recently, mm -hmm. you don't want to spend time in the kitchen, right? Right. So, so we're gonna we're gonna have an upcoming video about how really fast, healthy meal prep. Yes, it's such a myth that meal prepping has to be lengthy and eating healthy is inconvenient. We will blow that myth out of the water. Absolutely. Give me a two line punchline of what this program is. Oh. This is outstanding energy and health. And when I say outstanding, I'm 60 years old, right? If you think I'm sluggish, or if you think my brain is foggy, or if you think I can't get stuff done in the day, or that I can't ride my bike for three hours, you're mistaken. I'm 60 years old, and I am never sitting still. That's true. I'm energetic. <laughs> I'm building. I'm growing. I'm developing new things. I want every one of my patients, I've said this a thousand times, I want you 80 years old on a golf course having fun, mm -hmm. not dribbling on yourself in a nursing home. This program is about living out loud. It's about being vital. It's about mm -hmm. being energetic. It's about being passionate and expressing yourself. So many people are hampered by their habits. Mm -hmm. They don't feel good. They're not energetic. Their brain is foggy. They don't, you know, all these negative things. And it's all because of what they're doing. It's what they're eating and what they're not putting in their body. Mm -hmm. So this program is about getting you to be your optimal best and living out loud. That's more than two sentences. I apologize, but I'm that passionate about it. Everything that you and I do that make other people go, man, how come she gets to be so skinny and, and mm -hmm. this? It, we got it. We got this, the playbook. We right? absolutely, yep. And we'll walk yeah. arm in arm with you. Absolutely. So how can I uh, get in touch with us? Up? Where do I? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> call call the fabulous Chelsea. Our phone mm -hmm. number area code five one three nine two four fifty three hundred. That's 924-5300. And tell them you saw the video. Mm -hmm. You want to do the virtuoso program. You want to engage with Chelsea and that we have a holiday special. My staff know we have a holiday special. But just mention, you want the holiday special, you want to get enrolled in the virtuoso program, they'll get you signed up and they'll get you in here. And every patient gets a free consultation to decide, is this virtuoso program yeah. the best fit for them? So you and I will sit yep. down for an hour, we'll go through, you know, kind of in more detail what this program entails. Um, and then at that point you can say, hey, I want to move forward and we'll just get started right then and there. So it's a free, it's free consultation coming right there in. There are patients that live in Dayton or they're in Louisville or mm -hmm. they're a little, a little bit of drive from here. We love patients coming in physically because we think that's very important. Mm -hmm. You can get the shot that way. We can weigh you. There's a there's an intimacy mm -hmm. that we don't get at distance. But we have some patients that can't manage being here every week. And so what do you do with those folks? Oh, we'll do we'll do uh, Skype meetings, we'll do phone calls, and those can be just as effective. Right. So yeah, that's totally not. And when they virtual. come in, you can show them how to do a sub Q yep. uh, shot. They can even take them home. Yep. They don't miss out on anything. No. It's just, we just alter it. But you're going to meet weekly. You're not going to get out of meeting on a weekly basis. Can't the get away accountability from me. is too important. <laughs> if I know I'm going to stand on a scale with Chelsea on Friday, it's going to affect what I decide to eat today. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. It's going to make a it's difference. True. All right. It's very true. So let's just say I didn't get enough information out of this. Ah. Is there information on the website? There is. Yeah. Uh, I have to go make sure it's all updated. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so there's information yet. on our website that talks uh, about this. And as you know, if you know anything about us, we love education. We have mm -hmm. videos, we have articles, we have blogs, we have all kinds. We're coming at you from many different angles. All of this information is proprietary for our virtuoso patients, but it's made available to you. We have a special site where you can go get all of this digitally. Mm -hmm. We'll give you a copy of it in paper if you like the paper version. Um, but there is information on our website. If you go, you can go just look at the virtuoso program on mm -hmm. huberpm.com. That's huberpm.com is our website. And any other uh, resources? Call the office, honestly. Facebook. If you're watching yeah. this, you know about our Facebook page. You can plug yep. into us there. And our staff knows about the Virtuoso program in and out. So you, if you just have a you know, quick few questions, you can call the office and they'll be able to answer any questions about the program. Yep. All right. Where else can I find you guys? You guys do weekly content. We do, mm -hmm. we do weekly content. So we're on Instagram mm -hmm. at Huber Personalized Medicine. We have uh, Facebook, Huber Personalized Medicine. Mm -hmm. I actually have uh, Dr. Gary Huber, my own Facebook page that I put stuff on. Um, just depends on my mood. And, <laughs> and we're I'm, located in Montgomery. We're located in Montgomery on Montgomery Road, right mm -hmm. by 275 near 71. Um, that's probably the best way to reach out to yeah. us. Uh, I'm trying to think, think of you any, other, any other contact points. That's good. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Yep. Where'd Bob go? Oh. Awesome. Bob we'll, the Bob. We'll say goodbye with Bob. <laughs> yeah. Kiss Bob goodbye. Bye, Bob. Right? <laughs>
Don't be wiggly. <laughs> have a great have a great upcoming holiday. Let us be a part of that. We look forward to helping mm -hmm. you. We love what we do and we love working with you. So give us a call and let's get started. All right. Take care. Take care. Bye now.